Here's what to watch in the Big Ten this week game of the week number 13 Michigan State number 12 CFP at number 11 Ohio State number 13 CFP. First place in the East will be on the line. Michigan State is coming into the game off a stunning upset of Penn State. The Buckeyes' hopes for getting to the college playoffs took a major hit with a loss at Iowa. Ohio State has won 10 of 13. This could be a wide-open game. Spartans QB Brian LeWork threw for 400 yards against Penn State one week after throwing for a school record 445 yards against Northwestern. He is the first Spartan quarterback to post consecutive 400-yard passing games and the third Big Ten student in the past 20 years to pull off that feat produced Drew Brees in 1998 Northwestern C.J. Backer in 2007. Ohio State QB J.T. Barrett has thrown for 2,374 yards and 28 touchdowns. J.K. Dobbins is on pace to become the fourth freshman in program history to rush for 1,000 yards. Best matchup while they want to be on the field together, the game between No. 6 Wisconsin and No. 25 Iowa will be decided by the defenses. Wisconsin ranks No. 4 nationally in scoring defense 13.3 points per game and is No. 5 in total defense, allowing an average of 267.8 yards. The Badgers rank number 4 in rushing defense 87.8 and number 5 in passing efficiency defense 99.1. Iowa ranks number 16 nationally in scoring defense 18.1. It has held eight opponents below their scoring average. Inside the numbers Iowa, Michigan, Michigan State, Northwestern, Ohio State, Penn State and Wisconsin have clinched bowl berths by reaching six victories on the season. Iowa QB Nate Stanley has 22 touchdown passes, tied for 11th in the nation. Penn State RB Saquon Barkley needs 136 rushing yards for his third 1,000-yard rushing season. Nittany Lions QB Trace McSorley has thrown a touchdown pass in 24 straight games. Rutgers has 27 touchdowns in 9 games this season compared to 23 all of last year. Northwestern became the first FBS program to win three consecutive overtime games after the Wildcats' 3,124 victory at Nebraska last weekend. Minnesota senior punter Ryan Santoso leads the conference with a 44.5-yard average. Nebraska junior receiver Stanley Morgan Jr. is second in the Big Ten in receiving yards 690, receiving yards per game 86.3, and receiving touchdown 7. Illinois has 14 forced fumbles, tied the lead the nation in forced fumbles per game 1.56 along with Tennessee, Mississippi State, Utah State and Nevada. Indiana is the only program in the country to face three top five opponents and one of two West Virginia to meet five ranked foes this season. Long shot number 25 Iowa, 13 and a half point underdog at number six Wisconsin Iowa waxed Ohio State last weekend and it is now a touchdown underdog against Wisconsin. Stanley is throwing touchdowns and the Hawkeyes have shown they can score. Why not two upsets in a row? Wisconsin needs to win if it wants any shot at a berth in the playoff tournament. Player to watch Maryland QB Ryan Brand, if he plays. The walk-in took over for a dinged Max Bortenschlager on Maryland's final series against Rutgers and led a 16-play drive that ended with an incomplete pass in the end zone. The incompletion came after a touchdown pass was nullified by a holding call. He was 8 for 12 for 68 yards and looked like he knew what he was doing. Michigan will be a bigger test but the Terps need wins to become bowl eligible underscore 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 for more AP college football coverage http collegefootball.app.org and https twitter.com app underscore top 25 copyright 2017 the Associated Press all rights reserved this material may not be published broadcast rewritten or redistributed